Please welcome back to the channel. Monica Louv here at the Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading from October 31st to November 6th. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So in this reading, Aries, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge, Aries, is the Wheel of Fortune, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, the Chariot in reverse, okay? So your biggest challenge here for this coming week is the Wheel of Fortune. This has a lot to do with something that is a part of your destiny. Your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with maybe identifying an opportunity that's coming in. We're gonna clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the Three of Pentacles, you have the Temperance and the Ten of Cups. So in the recent past, I'm really strongly getting here that there was a very happy, loving family relationship, a connection, a commitment that you were in. I do feel like there was a lot of cooperation here. Things moved a little bit slowly, but it looks like in the end, it really led to a lot of happiness in the past. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now in the present moment, Aries, you have the eight of wands, the king of wands and the page of pentacles. So in the present moment, it looks like there is an opportunity, like I said, that is coming in for you. It is a small opportunity. It doesn't look like a big opportunity, but if you're able to really see the opportunity, it can lead to something great. And for many of you, you are being um, called in the present moment. There's some sort of communication that's coming in for you. Okay. We're going to find out more about this. I feel like this situation in the present moment has a lot to do with a job or a business opportunity rather than love. Okay. That's what I'm intuitively picking up. We're going to clarify and find out more for you in a moment. Now in the near future, you have the page of cups, the seven of pentacles and the six of cups. So in the near future, it looks like there is some sort of reevaluation when it comes to something here from the past. There's a situation that's coming up in the near future from your past. And it has a lot to do with forgiveness, healing, um, and really accepting maybe an apology here in the near future. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, chariot here in reverse with the hermit in reverse, it's almost like you're tired of overthinking a situation. You're tired of, of, of being isolated. And it's almost like Aries, you finally want to move forward. Okay. You're in this place in terms of what you don't see coming where you just want to move forward. You're like, I want to move forward now. I'm tired of being stagnant. Okay. So we're going to talk more about that. We're going to get into your reading. We're going to see what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. So the wheel of fortunes clarified by the chariot, you have the judgment and the high priestess. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with you realizing an opportunity. There's an opportunity that's coming in intuitively. You know, this intuitively your intuition, your higher self is telling you this, but you're ignoring it. So your biggest challenge here is to be aware of the opportunities that are coming in because certain opportunities, phone calls, messages, experiences, all of these things that you're going through right now, there's an opportunity. Okay. But you're not conscious of it. And the reason why you're not conscious of it is because on October, I think it was October 28th, uh, Jupiter went retrograde into Pisces. So Jupiter is no longer in your sign anymore. So having the luck abundance, all of that being at the forefront for you at one point, it was very easy for you to identify those things. But now because Jupiter astrologically has gone back into Pisces, which is your 12th house, especially if you're a rising Aries, you're not seeing all the opportunities. Okay. The opportunities are there but they're subconsciously hidden from you because Pisces is of the 12th sign and Pisces is of the unknown world. So whenever Jupiter is there, it's, it's hidden. Nobody sees the, the real opportunities unless they're consciously aware of the astrology. Okay. So that's your challenge. That's what I'm seeing. Now let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify the 10 of cups. So the 10 of cups is clarified by the 10 of cups, the six of swords and the four of wands. So for many of you in the recent past, I do feel somebody here left a relationship, left a marriage, left a commitment here in the past. 
Okay, it looked like a very happy and promising commitment, but it looks like you moved out or you decided to move on your own, okay? For some of you, you decided to remain being in a relationship, but maybe living in separate houses or um, maybe you did decide to leave or disconnect from this relationship. Something here was taking a very long time in the past and a decision needed to be made about this. I felt, uh, or I feel Aries, you needed to make this decision here in the past about this person. Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe a Leo or a Sagittarius. Somebody here was constantly in this place of chasing the other person. There was a lot of cat and mouse here on and off, in and out. And that's another reason why you may have felt very single here in the past or your person may have felt very single here in the past. Now, in the present moment, there's a huge opportunity. It doesn't look like a big opportunity, but somebody here is communicating with you or speaking to you about this. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. So the eight of wands is clarified by the queen of swords. You have the two of swords and the death. So in the present moment, it looks like for many of you, there is a very closed off energy. Somebody here doesn't like the fact that something here is coming to an end. It could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. They don't like the fact that you're closed off here, but there's a reason why somebody is choosing to be closed off in the present moment. Okay. Tell me more about this opportunity that's coming in. For some of you, you're ending something here in the present moment and somebody here is letting you know it's done, it's over. And that's what maybe is leading you to be able to have this new opportunity. And that's a common theme I'm seeing with everybody. Something here is clearing out, making room for something else. Okay. The reason why you're in separation right now from this person is because they're, they're toxic. Okay. There's something that this person does. And they're trying to speak to you, right? They're trying to get your attention. They're trying to say, hey, look, I want to be with you. Please, I want to be with you. Why are you ending things with me? I don't want this to end. And you're saying, look, I can't do this anymore, okay? There's too much um, toxicity, drugs, alcohol, addiction. Somebody here is overly emotional all the time. And that's what's leading to a separation. Some of you are receiving an opportunity in the present moment. And because it's not a big opportunity, you're just not really interested as well. That's what I'm seeing. But there is a separation in the present moment for many of you. What's the important message for Aries in the present moment? You have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. So it looks like for many of you in the present moment, your big big message here is, is to move forward towards a new opportunity. There is a new opportunity that is coming in. Okay, You need to be able to identify that opportunity in the present moment. It could be a business opportunity. I feel like it has a lot to do with money. Um, because it is a new beginning here, okay? Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. And for many of you, there is a new person that may also be coming into your life as well too, that you may be able to have this opportunity with, but it's gonna be important that you identify. And your intuition is telling you, Aries, what this opportunity is. The question is, are you gonna listen to your intuition? Are you gonna listen to what your higher self is telling you, okay? And that's why something here in the present moment is coming to an end because it's making room for a bigger and better opportunity for you. So, you know, there's no reason for you to, I don't feel like you're upset about this ending, but it's almost like you need a reason to be accepting of this ending. Okay. And spirit is showing you the opportunities are there if you're interested. Now in the near future, there is something here about someone from your past they are coming back, okay? They, somebody here from your past is coming back and you're gonna be reevaluating uh, something here. So what is the important message about this person from the past for Aries? So the Six of Cups is clarified by the Three of Pentacles. You have the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Cups. So in the near future, um, Somebody here, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or sign Taurus or a Scorpio, uh, this person, they really want to talk. They really want to get clear on things with you. I see this person trying to work things out with you, trying to cooperate with you, especially if there's like children involved or um, if there's something here that is involving money as well too. So this person may be coming towards you and apologizing or wanting to speak to you about something here because there's something in your life. I'm going to be honest with you, Aries, something in your life is stagnant or it's not moving forward because you know you have unfinished business with this person. Um, they are going to want to talk. Okay. They want to get clear on things and they're going to try to make an offer to you. And this offer has a lot to do, like I said, with money and investment. Okay. So an investment into a business an investment into 
uh, some sort of financial planning here in the near future. A lot of you don't realize that this person that you've had issues with for quite some time is somebody who can really bring some sort of huge opportunity to you, especially if it's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There's a huge opportunity here. The sun, the three of wands, yeah, and the five of cups. Your choice is this. You're either choosing to look at the negatives or the positives, okay? It's going to be up to you. But either way, there is going to be an opportunity for you to make an investment. This investment can really lead to a lot of money for you. It can lead to you moving forward into this new direction. But a lot of you are going to only be focused on the negative, okay, the negatives, okay? This is about you shifting your focus areas into the positives and seeing how you can move forward with this. There's a lot of healing and forgiveness that needs to take place. And a lot of you have been thinking about this, but you still haven't taken action on it, okay? And that's why the chariot is here in reverse. So if you're able to forgive this person and be open-minded to maybe seeing their side of things, it could really lead to some sort of major investment, some sort of opportunity here, okay? So it's gonna be up to you, of course. I'm only the messenger. What's the advice? The advice here is the moon. You have the six of wands and the king of swords. Your biggest piece of advice here is to really, really, really be logical about your emotions and be logical about your feelings. Because if you're just pushing people away or setting boundaries and you're not really sure why you're doing that, you really need to connect to, to why you're doing that. Okay. And if you're just doing that to protect yourself, that makes complete sense. But ultimately this is about you being in touch with your emotions, getting to that real place of being in touch with your emotions. The reason why you're dealing with someone who's overly emotional is because they're trying to show you how to get in touch with your emotions. That's the lesson here that's being learned. Right. And a lot of you choose or you let this week your emotions overrule you instead of being logical because the more you're logical about this situation and the more you listen to your intuition, which is the moon energy, the more you're going to be able to take advantage of opportunities. But the more you shut other people out or you close yourself off from people, the more you're allowing your emotions to rule you in the wrong way. So this is about you being logical, okay? Being logical about emotional situations and how you can turn these emotional situations to your advantage, all right? So Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.